Why is Jelly Bean so hated? That's a question you might ask yourself after stumbling upon hate video after hate video after hate video, each of which explaining in their own words why they dislike this 17 year old anonymous Minecraft YouTuber. What makes the question even more interesting is that only six months ago, Jelly Bean was a complete nobody, gaining less than a thousand views per day, which is a number almost incomparable beside the 40 to 120 million views she now receives monthly. Has the hate come about as a simple result of becoming so successful in such a short period of time? Or is it more likely associated with the numerous controversies that she's been involved in during her short time in the sun? We're going to examine the fast but intense career of Jelly Bean up until two weeks ago when she'd post a hate video on herself. So you can come to your own conclusion about whether or not the title of YouTube's most hated creator is justified or deserved. The first reason as to why she might warrant this title can be identified when looking at the third video ever posted to her channel back in October 2021 titled Minecraft but I'm reading comments. See if you can figure out what the reason might be without any context. <laughs> Balls. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Just like. Oh, mom, can we get McDonald's? You better sit down and go watch Coco Melon right now. I'm folded. Viewers quickly came to the conclusion that Jelly Bean's videos were obnoxious, annoying, over the top, immature, and clearly targeted towards children. And the content itself is pretty much this chick sounding like she's off who knows how much drugs with literally blaringly loud video game OST music in the background. Another influencer that has this thought of loud equals funny. There is no entertainment value whatsoever. It's intentionally like mega overstimulating with like the text and the movement character and the parkour in the background. On a subreddit dedicated to hating Jelly Bean, fittingly titled r slash Jelly Bean sucks, individuals would back this message up in memes reading, POV, you're about to watch Jelly Bean. Headphones volume one. Brace yourselves guys, loudest sounds on earth. Concert speakers, fireworks, gunfire, blue whale, space shuttle, Jelly Bean. However, Jelly Bean's voice and general video delivery weren't the only things feeding into this narrative that she was an incredibly annoying YouTuber. In late November 2021, Jelly Bean would upload a video titled Minecraft But We Cause Some Chaos, in which she requested that all of her audience Photoshop her Minecraft face over the top of their current YouTube profile pictures. I think it would be really funny if we just slapped my Minecraft face on everyone's profile pictures and confused so many people. After this proved to be successful, she'd push her luck a little further by requesting that everyone post her Minecraft face to their profile picture on every platform. So I think we should move on from YouTube and go to other platforms. I want you guys to change your profile pictures everywhere, not just YouTube. While this move seemed to annoy some people with Twitter posts such as why do you think people are in the Jelly Bean profile picture gang? Because they have no life, no friends, no bitches, no outdoors. People changing their profile picture wasn't really all that invasive and was hardly worth getting worked up about. However, it would serve as a basis for her next publicity stunt, which was substantially more annoying and would go on to ultimately make her even more hated. This next stunt began on the 7th of January 2022 after Jelly Bean would upload a video titled Minecraft But We Set A World Record in which she expressed her desire to break the record for the highest number of comments on a YouTube short. What if we hit a world record for the most comments on a YouTube short? I know it sounds crazy, but I think it's possible. If everybody watching this video type, it's not a mistake, it's a masterpiece, 10 times, I think we can hit that record. Subsequently, her comment section began to fill with the instructed comment, it's not a mistake, it's a masterpiece, with Jelly Bean taking to her community tab, instructing that the message shouldn't be spammed anywhere besides her specific YouTube short video. Hey, I just want to state, do not go to other streamers slash YouTubers and flood them with, it's not a masterpiece, it's a mistake. I'm okay with you guys spamming my YouTube comments, but nowhere else. Thank you slash serious. However, obviously the audience was going to do the exact opposite of whatever Jelly Bean instructed, and as a result, her audience began to spam it everywhere, forcing the Jelly Bean agenda upon each harmonious YouTube comment section. A few months ago, I got comments on my video saying, it's not a mistake, it's a masterpiece, and I was very confused. You definitely hit the record, but your fan base went to every comment section! The Jelly Bean fans who refused to join the it's not a mistake, it's a masterpiece cult were then apparently sent death threats, as Jelly Bean would have to take to her community tab once again in another post reading, I didn't think I had to state this, but don't send death threats to people who don't like it's not a mistake it's a masterpiece. As the hate continued to mount against Jelly Bean for the annoying comment campaign, those who didn't know what was going on would take to the out of the loop subreddit in a post attempting to figure out why Jelly Bean was becoming so hated. One user would comment, answer, people just find her annoying, receiving a response reading, people annoyed by someone that they can easily avoid blows my mind. This is a very good point. Sure, the comments were annoying, but why were people going out of their way to hate on Jelly Bean when, as highlighted in another Reddit comment, she's doing the same annoying shit that
that YouTubers like Ranbu and George Not Found would do, but she's the one who gets a massive hate campaign. Now this comment isn't completely accurate because Ranbu and George Not Found are fairly different from Jellybean. They all play Minecraft, sure, but Jellybean has a fairly unique style, besides using a similar disguise in a subscriber milestone special, which had clearly been copied from Ranbu. Ranbu baked a cake for one mil, she's making cookies for 400k, he wears sunglasses and a mask, she's wearing sunglasses and a mask. However, regardless of whether or not they were similar, these comments still highlighted that some portion of her audience believed that she'd taken some or most of her persona from these other Minecraft YouTubers, providing her with a reputation as a copycat. For example, going back to the subreddit titled Jellybean Sucks, one user would state that she got her whole personality from the Dream SMP. She started her channel basically copying Dream. Like she even used his speedrun music and it wasn't even used in an ironic sense. Nah, she was just trying to replicate that sweet Minecraft success. Oh my god, I'm like, I'm like Dream. Even going so far as to name her Twitter handle Be Not Here, alongside a YouTube community post stating that this was her face reveal, with a similarity being highlighted further in some of the many hate videos made on Jelly Bean. Instead of actually having an own persona, she completely mimics Dream. She's the definition of I try so hard to get in the Dream SMP. Now, make no mistake, there were some huge advantages to being associated with these other Minecraft creators. Each of them already have a massive audience, which could easily flow through to Jelly Bean if the public sees her as being similar. The problem is the Minecraft community on YouTube are a pretty easy target for hatred and aren't always seen with a squeaky clean reputation, which will also flow through to Jelly Bean if she's being associated with them. You've got posts such as this one reading, this new wave of Minecraft YouTubers are just annoying and it isn't entertaining. I love watching Minecraft videos, but I absolutely cannot stand Dream and his friends. There's a couple of them who I find funny, but the whole thing is just unbelievably cringeworthy. There's certain things that should be role played on and Minecraft just isn't one of them. If Jelly Bean gets associated with the current Minecraft crowd on YouTube, people are by default going to apply the same hatred to her. However, this still fails to explain why Jelly Bean clearly receives more hatred than any of these other Minecraft YouTubers. So let's explore another theory. Maybe Jelly Bean isn't as hated as it seems, and hating her has simply become a trend in the commentary community. Let me explain. On the 7th of February 2022, Soloko would be the first YouTuber to post a video discussing why they dislike Jelly Bean. Soloko had less than a thousand subscribers at the time, yet his video would go on to gain close to 200,000 views, despite being only two minutes long. A week later, The Beak would post his video titled, Why I Don't Like Jelly Bean, which once again gained over 1 million views, despite him also having less than 50,000 subscribers. It would be at this point that the commentary community witnessed the effectiveness of creating hate videos on Jelly Bean, spawning even more hate videos all titled in a similar way, each of which parroting a similar opinion to that which was shared in the first two successful hate videos. If you ask me how I got this video idea, I came up with it, yeah, yeah, I didn't steal it from anyone, no, 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 not at all, not at all. As a result of this, you'll find countless Jelly Bean hate videos on YouTube, yet in reality, most of these commentary YouTubers probably have nothing against Jelly Bean and are simply jumping on the trend for views. Commentary YouTuber Jaden would talk to one of these channels, which had created a Why I Hate Jelly Bean video, who stated, just wanted to let you know, saw your video on Jelly Bean, and I saw you included my video, which is pretty cash money, but there's no Jelly Bean drama. Me and Beak just wanted some 2016 videos. We don't not like her. There is no drama. One of these commentators ended up reaching out to me and saying that they were basically just trying to bring back the old 2016 style of commentary and that they didn't actually hate Jelly Bean. The commentary community might have hated Jelly Bean or they might have simply been putting it on for views. Regardless, it would be during this wave of commentary community hate that Jelly Bean would make yet another mistake leading to her becoming even more hated. She began to respond to the criticism. Jelly Bean ended up responding to me, man. Jelly Bean herself. Now she didn't respond to any of these videos directly, which was a smart move, but she'd rather post a tweet reading, can't have the haters holding me back. It's pop off season woo, which is unfortunately the kind of comment that can act as fuel for these channels to continue hating her or even worse doxing her, which is what would happen next. People have taken this thing to a whole nother level. They're actually doxing Jelly Bean and leaking her private information just because she makes cringe Minecraft videos. Yeah, Jelly Beans, IRL, the person behind, it's not a mistake, it's a masterpiece. And then they leak a picture of her face and say, Jelly Bean, more like Jelly Bozo. As Jelly Bean's face began to get shared across the internet, videos were posted to the platform by some pretty unhinged YouTubers stating that she deserved it. Jelly Bean actually got doxxed, and I'm gonna be talking about it in this video and why she deserved it, so make sure to like the video and comment. However, this still wasn't the worst thing that would happen to her as a result of the hate. Seeking another response from Jelly Bean, someone from TikTok would create a fake screenshot of her saying the n-word on discord, forcing her to address it in a 
public Twitter post reading, I'm here to address these screenshots that have been going around Twitter, TikTok, and probably other social medias. Recently, there have been fake screenshots of me saying slurs, and it's honestly disgusting. These screenshots are obviously fake, from the profile picture to the wrong pronunciation of my name in the screenshot. These people who are spreading these screenshots only have the screenshot. They have no weight behind these accusations, and they have been very harmful to me and my mental health. I'm called racist over something I didn't do. I don't care how much you don't like someone, you shouldn't make fake screenshots of them saying slurs. It's hurtful and childish for whoever made them. I've decided to step away from Twitter for a couple of days slash weeks. I'm tired of getting accused of something I didn't do, which would be supported by even the commentary community, which had created the conditions for this hate in the first place. Jellybean is a cringe YouTuber. There is no doubt about that. But just because you find Jellybean to be cringe, you don't need to put out false allegations about them. And while these kind of events have been, quote, very harmful to her mental health, they haven't actually been all that harmful to the growth of her YouTube channel. On the 1st of May 2022, Jellybean will make a tweet reading, I'm curious, how did you find out about me? What were your first impressions of me? In which many of the comments reference that they had discovered and become a fan of Jellybean after watching the commentary videos hating her. So while Jellybean may hold the title of YouTube's most hated creator, the negative connotation might have come with an equal amount of positivity.